um, Colette and Megan to jump on with me and talk about mindset and action steps um, that we can control in our business. So I'm really excited about this. Um, mindset is just such a huge thing for our business, honestly, in business, in life, and just anything we do. And so we wanted to share a lot about mindset and kind of our personal stories that have helped us have success and actually failure in this business as well because of our mindset. And then we're gonna go into um, action steps. So make sure you have some take notes with, um, also a empty piece of paper because we're gonna do an activity in the middle of this. Um, but I'm just gonna start it out. I'm Andrea Vasquez, I'm a presidential diamond leader and I've been with the company for four and a half years now. And so um, it's just been a crazy journey, highs and lows, ups and downs, you know, that's why we wanna talk about mindset. Um, and just definitely let you know that you're not alone. You know, every human being goes through so many of the same stuff. So a lot of the stuff that we're going to talk about, you might have gone through or you might go through, and then you'll know how to get past it. And so, you know, the business is built between the two ears, and it's so, so true, you know. Um, we become what we think about. And if we're constantly, you know, thinking negative, you know, that's what's going to continue to come about. And if we're constantly thinking positive and uplifting stuff, you know, that's what's going to come, come about. And so, you know, the business is built between the two ears, and so it's so huge. Um, the first, I love quotes. Quotes speak to me, so I just wrote a couple down. But the first one is the first step to su steps to success is believing that it can happen. It kind of goes again back to your mindset. You know, it's so much easier to think negative than it is to think positive. Um, you know, or it's just anytime neg something negative happens, you know, we kind of attract to it. And so, you know, that's where um, personal development comes in. Um, to get your mindset right, to get the positive um, thoughts and the affirmations and believing in yourself and all of that, you know, personal development is so huge. And some people on here may roll your eyes like, I get it. You guys talk about personal development all the time, but it seriously is huge. And I don't think I really even started doing it until about two years in. Um, I should have started early on. It's just very, very important to have your mindset right. So I have a couple books I just wanted to share. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, just a couple books that I have. And you guys, I used to not be a reader. And I was like, I'm never reading, ever. Like, I just am not a reader. But I saw somewhere... I don't, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but millionaires read like what two plus books a month. And I was like, I wanna be a millionaire, so I'm gonna follow in their footsteps. So at the beginning of this year, I challenged myself to read two books a month, and I have stayed with that, whether it's reading a book or Audible. Um, I had to learn, fall, learn to fall in love with Audible because I like reading books. Um, but if you have never, ever, ever read a book, grab one of the books that I'm just gonna talk about um, or just show real fast. The best one I've ever read, I can honestly tell you, I just read this last month, is Get Over Your Damn Self by Ro Romy, I don't even know how to say her last name. But it's just such an easy, she goes over like the basics in the business, um, and it's just, it's absolutely amazing. So there's that one. I'm going to hold it. I'm not going to go too much into it. The next one is beach money. This one gets you kind of just to really, truly understand network marketing and residual income and things like that. So this is a great one. And these can all be read, you know, they're not super thick. Um, Go pros and a good one. This one um, teaches you the seven steps to becoming a network marketing professional. It gets your mindset right in the business aspect to understand that kind of what you're going to go through or have gone through in the business is kind of normal in the business, if that makes sense. So this is a great one. And then this one's kind of an odd one. People are going to be like, what? But I don't know if you guys have ever read that. And it's so small. I read it in like a day like an, an hour and it's who moved my cheese. So those are just four, you guys. I have like a bookshelf. I'm now a collector of books. So if you have never read personal development book, development, I highly recommend getting a book like ASAP, like as soon as you can. Um, even if you're like, I don't read, you've got to start reading. You've got to start feeding your mind with positivity and, you know, just helpful, helpful stuff in the business about getting confidence in yourself, about believing in yourself, about opening and expanding your mind to believing that you're worth more than what you might think you're worth right this second. Um, so books are huge. I listen to The Strangest Secret on YouTube a lot. Um, I actually know Denise Walsh listened to it like every day for like a year going Black Diamond. Um, if you've never listened to The Strangest Secret, it's by Earl Nightingale and it's like 30 minutes long on YouTube. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, he literally just talks about, you know, the secret to success and the failure to success is um, we become what we think about, you know, and again, going back into if you're constantly thinking negativity or I can't do this or I can't sign a customer or I can't sign a distributor, that's what's going to continue to come about into your business. You know, you're almost pulling that into your business. And so um, we talk about affirmations a lot. I don't, we have three different teams on this call. So I'm sure 
Megan and Colette talk about affirmations and, you know, positivity. Um, something I wanted to share with you guys and something I do with my team is, um, we, I, you know, we teach saying your thank yous. And so what that means is every morning, and I want you to try this even when we get off of the Zoom and tomorrow morning, is say your thank you. So you have to say it out loud, like when you're getting ready or you're in the shower, and say your thank you. So something just similar to this and say, you know, thank you for um, sending me all these messages. My phone is blowing up. I can barely keep up. Of all these people that are interested in the products and the business opportunity, you know, thank you for sending me all this volume my business is receiving this month of all the loyal customers I'm signing. Um, thank you for blessing my business with distributors who, you know, are coachable, that are motivated, that are self-driven, you know, name the list of distributors that you want on your team. Um, thank you. You know, I, lately I've been saying, you know, thank you for sending me my next rock star who's going to go diamond in 30 days or ambassador in less than two years, you know, get specific and what you want into your business and say it out loud and then say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like out loud. So I want you to try it. It's kind of cheesy, but I, I promise you, it just lifts your spirits. You're basically putting out to the universe, to God, whatever you believe in, that this is what I'm attracting to my business. Because again, if it's constant negativity, that's all that's going to come about into your business. So positive, positive, positive. And it, again, it's so much easier to think negative than it is to think positive. So that's why we recommend going to YouTube, watching a motivational video in the first thing in the morning, you know, two minutes long, five minutes long, reading a chapter in a book every single day, just because we have to have our mind right, because we become what we think about and we want it positive, positive, positive. Um, so I'm just going to kind of share a couple of my personal stories with mindset in this business. Um, the first one I wanted to share is early on in my business. It was the first year, first few months of my business. And I remember telling my sponsor, you know, I, I want to go diamond. I really want to go diamond. And, you know, she was like, okay, cool. Let's do it. You know? And I just wanted to, I just, the next month I'd say the same thing. And then I wouldn't hit it. And then the next month I'd say the same thing and I wouldn't hit it. And you know, I just kept saying it, but I wasn't doing anything different in my business. Yeah. I was posting. Yeah. I was doing this and this and this and this, but I wasn't changing anything to make diamond happen. If that makes sense. So I just kept telling her kind of in a sense, hoping that if I just say it, it'll just fall into my lap. So yeah, the affirmations work and the thank yous work, but then you ha also have to do, you know, the action steps behind it, which we'll go into later. Um, but I kept telling her, I want to go diamond. I'm going to go diamond. I'm going to go diamond. I wouldn't do it month after month after month. And it wasn't until I went to my first conference in January, 2014, that my belief level, like just went through the ceiling. Like I was so confident in what I have my, my hands on, what, you know, my business, myself, you know, conference, we could spend a whole zoom on conference. So if you haven't bought your tickets, you got to get your tickets and go because it will change everything. You know, I went as like the shyest person you could have ever met. You guys, I'm, I'm turning red now. Um, just so nervous. Like I, I just was not taking myself and my business seriously to leaving there. Like, so just such a different person and believing that I can achieve anything and everything I put my mind to. And so I told, you know, my husband, I'm going di double diamond in the two months to earn a bonus. And I finally went diamond and double, but it wasn't until I had shifted my mindset to, I have to do this and I can do this. It wasn't like, you know, before I kind of doubted myself and I don't know if I can do this. And I, you know, I was constantly thinking that those negative thoughts that I didn't, I wasn't pulling anything positive really. So it wasn't until I went to conference, gained that confidence level, gained that belief system that I thought, you know what, I can do this. And then I did it. And so even on any promotion I've had, you know, going diamond doubled and tripled and presidential, it literally wasn't until I shifted my mindset to I can do this. I got this. I'm going to do this. And then that's when it happened. So that's creating the success with my mindset. Um, not that I had the failure, but once I went presidential diamond, I got in my head. I got in my head so bad. I started comparing myself to everybody. I started looking left and right and she's better than I am and she's prettier than I am and she's a better leader than I am. And I can tell you that's what's held me at presidential the last two years because I for a whole year, I was in my head. Yes, I was doing everything normal. I was posting, messaging, talking to people. I was still signing people, but I just, I didn't I almost didn't feel worthy of presidential diamond. And then I almost didn't feel hundred percent worthy that I could be ambassador diamond. Like I know that I can, but then you start getting in your head and start, you know, fear sinks in and I can't do this and all these thoughts. And so it didn't create the failure in my business, but that's the part where it held me back. I, I'll say, um, it wasn't until the beginning of this year that I snapped out of it and I said, Nope, not anymore. Like I got to get my mindset right. I got to 
you know, stay positive. I know I can do this because, you know, I built Presidential Diamond. I, you know, I joined just to make an extra $500 a month. And then, you know, that anything past that seemed like unreal or I could never do it. But once you reach that tiny step, you see the next step and you think, okay, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. And you start dreaming bigger. And so, you know, getting to presidential, I was just like, oh, like, I don't know if I'm worthy of this. And so that kind of created the opposite side where it held me back. I started working my business out of fear. And am I worthy of this? Can I do this? Can I be an ambassador diamond leader? And then the beginning of this year, I was like, no, nope, no more. Like, I know I can do this. I know I'm worthy of ambassador diamond. And that my business took off again. And so, you know, it truly, truly your business is standing where your mindset is, if that makes sense. So positive, 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 read those books, read the stranger's secret, get your mindset right because you can achieve anything and everything you put your mind to. You just first have to believe in yourself that you can do it. And so that's kind of my stories, my couple stories I wanted to share. Now I'm going to pull Colette on and have her kind of share her personal stories or yeah, whatever you want to call it with mindset. Let me put you on spotlight one sec. Oh, okay. hello. Okay. <laughs> Um, first of all, you guys, um, while I'm going to be sharing my story, I want you to be telling me off, off to the side, what rank have you, what's your highest rank achieved? I want to see, I want to see all of that. Um, I have been in the business for five and a half years. I joined June of 2012 and I went quite quickly to, um, to presidential working a full-time job. Um, I would leave the house at seven, not get home till six o'clock. And I had four kids at home. My youngest was six months old and we were dead broke. Um, so I went from distributor to presidential in 14 months. Um, I went to diamond in about four months, triple diamond in eight months, and then presidential in 14 months. And I'm going to tell you, looking back on that, it was complete blind, um, what do they call it? Um, ignorance on fire. It absolutely was. Um, and then you do start the comparison. You start to play the mind games and things kind of started to get in my way. Um, I'm here seeing distributor. Um, you're headed for Ruby. Um, Ruby, distributor. Okay. Great, you guys. So presidential, Katie, Ruby, Ruby. Okay. Awesome, guys. So I want you to also now share with me right now, what's holding you back from working your business? What is holding you back? Just be honest and real. Um, like sometimes we fake it. We're like, um, oh, I'm just too busy. No, I want you to be full on real with me. What's holding you back? And um, is it just laziness? Is it fear? Your mind? Um, You've been diamond for over two years and you're just now out of your funk and running. Yourself is ton of self-doubt. Um, looks like Beyonce doubts you. Um, your mind, you're in your own head, scared of failing, fear of failing for sure. Um, so self-doubt, laziness, not organized. Okay, um, this fear of failure really fast. I went to a boot camp here in Huntington Beach. I'm in California. And they talked about the fear of failure. So the fear of failing, so you're not doing anything, you're paralyzed right now. You're not doing anything, which is still not creating where you wanna go. So you're ultimately creating that fear of failure. You are failing because you're not doing anything. Um, I was shy, insecure. I had tons of debt, um, super busy, but we just were doing the steps to, um, to work our business. And I had a lot of distributors who were also duplicating those steps. And the steps include, we were doing parties once a week, each of us. So my distributors were doing parties. I was doing parties. Um, Facebook wasn't huge back then for me at least. Um, and so a lot of word of mouth. And I was terrified. I will be 100% honest. I would sweat. I would stutter and stammer. My lip would sweat. I mean, I was, I was a wreck, you guys. I couldn't speak without like ugly crying because I was so nervous. But I had to, like how many of you, I want you to raise your hand. How many of you are grateful for this business and for the person who, who introduced it to you? Okay. 
So then how come you're afraid of letting someone else be grateful for you introducing this to someone else? Stop it. So it took me a long time to realize and understand that um, I'm holding this back from someone. And I, you guys, I was praying in my closet every single day that I would have an opportunity to stay at home with my kids. And I, I was like, there's got to be a way that I can stay home with my kids. And I was introduced to this business and I thought it was a joke. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm signing up for that free product and I'm out of here. I'm not doing this. And I had no interest because I was better than that. Even though I was dead broke, I was not going to do network marketing. And so some of your fear might be being afraid to talk to people because of the business model. You have to become so confident in who you are that it doesn't even matter. And sometimes um, that can only come through personal development and getting it. It's like, how do you get your mind right? Well, you've got to do personal development. You've got to listen to show me the money calls. You have to do something to relate with what you're reading or what you're listening to. Um, so if I can encourage any one of you to do something, it would be listen to the recorded show me the money calls as much as you can, whether you're in the car, making dinner, in the shower, whatever it is, because every single time, still five and a half years later, I listened to the last one when they interviewed Tiffany Patillo, and I still get goosebumps. I get information. I'm taking notes, and I get things from it that I needed to hear or I needed to pass on or something that inspires me. And if, if you can listen to that, because it's directly related to people that have been through the same things that you're going through right now, you're going to connect and you're going to be inspired and it's going to help you. Something's going to click. Um, so for me, um, I used to be terrified of the steps of success. And I would be like, I would tell my entire team, so the steps of success, um, just try, okay? Just just try to enroll four customers and three distributors. Oh my gosh. Like they say that that is the building blocks for our business for a reason. We have to, if you do the steps of success and your team does the steps of success, you will grow at a rapid rate. But I immediately was afraid of it. So I treated it like, um, I'll try, which led, led room for failure. Well, there's a report in your e-suite where if you were all on my team, I could go and pull that report and say, okay, Andrea, let's see how many distributors you enrolled all of this year. And then I would create the average and see, oh, have you enrolled three distributors every single month? Oh, Megan, how has Megan done? Well, I knew that I had not done that. And my um, upline, 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 she was talking in another page and she was like, um, all of you guys are VIP leaders and I know that you're not doing the steps of success. And she didn't call me out, but I am a people pleaser, you guys. And I was like, oh shoot, I don't want anyone mad at me. I did not complete the steps of success because I think it's hard. And it was so strange, you guys. I remember this moment because I didn't want to let her down, even though she didn't even know who I was really. I decided at that very moment I was going to change my mindset and instead of being afraid of the steps of success, I was going to be excited and use it as a challenge for myself to compete with myself to get it done every single month by the 15th, every single month. And so instead of like this fear, I just decided I'm enrolling four customers today. And every single day I would say, I'm enrolling four customers today. I'm enrolling four customers today. And even if I didn't, I was saying it again the next day. And guess what? I was completing the steps of success each month, if not twice, every single month from then on forward for the next two years. It was a mindset shift that, that because I changed my mindset from fear to action, I was opening doors. I was making myself more available. I was putting in more effort. So um, you all are on this, on this Zoom. And I want to say that I applaud you because look at how very little people are on here. 29 people with three teams. You guys, you should be proud of yourself. So I want you to take this seriously. You're here for a reason. And I hope that you get something from this. But if you take anything from it, mindset is so, so important. 
Um, we have so many things to give to you. So if you can just take something from it and um, implement it, I know that it's going to change your business. I love that. Okay, I got to jump in before Megan goes. One sec. I didn't do something on my end. <laughs> Okay, I gotta say, I gotta go off of Colette real fast. What's funny is I didn't know Colette at this time. I don't, me and Colette met because we won a cruise and we ended up rooming together, you guys, and I was a double diamond and I was like, I get a room with a presidential. Like I was freaking out, but I was so excited. And I don't think I knew her at this time. And I watched a video from a training and she said that. She said, you know, I shifted my mindset to tell myself I'm gonna complete the steps of success by the 15th. And I was like, I'm gonna try that. And it worked for me. I, I didn't do it by the 15th, I did it by the 16th. But I did it because I shifted my thinking to, I can do this. And like her, I, I turned it to, I'm not scared of the steps of success to, oh my gosh, I can do this. And so I love that tip. And I, I mean, I, yeah, I've used it for years after I saw her do that. Another thing I want to add to is, you know, mindset is so huge. And you guys, we are all human. We all have negative thoughts. We all have fear. We all talk bad to ourselves. You know, the, the way we talk to ourselves, we never talk to somebody else, but you've got to stay plugged in. You have to get to events. You have to get on calls. Like she was saying, like, I would not be where I am or who I am if I had not committed to staying plugged into the Sunday night call early on in my business. You guys, I was working nights and weekends, so I couldn't get to trainings. I couldn't get to all the stuff that was going on. So what I could get to was a Sunday night call. And so Give yourself that goal to stay plugged in as much as you can, because once your mindset's negative, you get to an event and just like she said, you get inspired by something. You get your mindset right back on track and you get, you surround yourself with like-minded people. So I plug into anything and everything that I can, just because I know that my mind and my heart and my soul need it. So I wanted to add that. Okay. Something I missed when it was my turn and then I'll have Megan jump on is grab a piece of paper out and I want everyone to do this. Grab a piece of paper. And I want you to write down, and I know Colette kind of already did it on the chat, but I want it on a paper. I want you to just to write down, let's do four negative things that you tell yourself either daily, weekly, just things that you say to yourself or about yourself negative. So four things. So let me write mine down and then I'll get going. I mean, it can be about you or just anything that you think negative. And once you're done, I just want you to real fast, just kind of hold it up that you kind of did it just so that I can see that you got a piece of paper. You can't cheat and do it on your phone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to kind of share mine. You don't have to share yours. You kind of already did with hers, but mine, you know, sometimes I just think, am I a good leader? Like, and I do this, like, I know I've been doing it for four and a half years and I'm presidential, but then I, you know, I, I think like, am I a good leader? Am I giving them good content? Am I helping people? Um, I question, you know, can I be ambassador diamond? Even though I know I can do it, I kind of sit there and think, oh my gosh, can I? Um, sometimes I'm scared of what others think, even though I've been doing it for four and a half years and I don't really care what they think. Sometimes you get in that, like, you know, if I post too much or if I message them or follow up too much. So um, anything that you wrote down, I want you to grab your piece of paper now and I want you to rip it up because whatever it is, <laughs> it's just you holding back because of fear, you know, and change it to I'm, I'm not a good leader to I am a good leader or, you know, whatever you wrote on it, change it to the opposite, change it to the positive and then rip it up. Hold yours up and rip it up. Let's see it. Because this doesn't define you. This isn't who you are. You are worthy of so much more. You are an amazing wife, an amazing mom, amazing leader. You can be, you know, Ruby, Diamond, Ambassador, Black Diamond. You know, you can do it all. But fear, when it sits in our head and in our mindset, it controls us and we work our business out of fear, like Clet said, and it paralyzes you to where you don't even want to move forward. So that was a fun little thing. So tear it up. You can go burn it up later. You can go flush it down the toilet, whatever you want to do, but no more. Don't let those negative thoughts in your mindset anymore. And just think about it this way. The things you tell yourself, you would never tell anybody. The things I tell myself, I'd never tell to Colette or to Megan, like ever. You would never 
Say those things to anybody else. So why are we saying it to ourselves? Speak positively, you know, um, you know, say these things that even though you might not think it, you know, say it every day. I am beautiful. I'm strong. I am diamond. I am Ruby. I am this, I am this one more thing. And then Megan shouldn't can jump on. When I was going diamond and double, I was pushing so hard and I would used to tell my husband, when I go diamond and double, we can do this, this, and this. When I go diamond and double. So I never said if, I never said if I go diamond, it was always when. It was when because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So always use the way you're wording stuff in your mind and speaking it out loud the way you want it to be. Okay, so now we're going to have Megan jump on and share her kind of stories about mindset. Okay, you're, you're on. Hey, guys. So, whoa, I'm like really zoomed in. Okay, well, maybe it's just my end, but okay, so I am Megan McLeod. I have been in now for three and a half years, it'll be four years in February. So, first of all, they're awesome, aren't they? The reason why they're presidential is because they pour into themselves daily. What they're saying, they're not just telling you guys to do it. So, just remember that everything that we're telling you guys and speaking to you is because, like, over time, we have really believed and seen like how amazing it is to like to fill your mind with just so much power and believing in yourself you know before I joined this business I I did not have any of that I had a lot happen when I was pregnant I lost my son's biological father and I lost my mom within a month part and you know like when that happens to you like it, your life just feels like it's crumbling and it's dark and you're depressed and like I never thought I could ever, ever, ever be worthy of anything because like I just had this, all this negative and just, just nasty stuff surrounding me at all times. Like it was terrible. And when I joined this business, um, I was on food stamps. We were struggling. I was depressed. I was on so much medication because like, and I couldn't go to work because I had PTSD. I was suffering in, you know, so many different ways. And they didn't, they said I couldn't go to work. So I had to stay at home. I had a little baby to raise and, you know, I needed the extra money. We, you know, I couldn't do anything. We were on food stamps. Like I said, my husband, my husband now, um, he was working 60 plus hours a week just to bring us, you know, money. But those 60 hours, like we still left us struggling and we never saw him and, you know, he never got to see Wyatt. So, you know, it just kept the depression just kept going and coming and coming. And, you know, I went to a rap party. I went to my upline Tiffany Hurd's rap party. And, you know, this um, Skylar Lambert was talking and she was there and she's like, you know, I'm a stay at home mom and I make $6,000 extra a month. And I was like, yeah, right. Like this, there's no way. And that was that negative, that negative mindset, not believing. I just kept saying, yeah, right. You know, if I could just make $300 a month, that'd be awesome. And you know what? I was like, I'll just try it. Went home, asked John and he said, no. He didn't believe in me. Kind of talked to my dad about it. He said, absolutely not. What are you thinking? This is a pyramid scheme. Like, what did I raise you to do? And, you know, like all that negative. The negative just kept surrounding, kept surrounding. And, you know, that right there, like, I had the negative mindset of like, watch me. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to do it. I went behind John's back and I joined. Now, like, my mindset wasn't right because, like, I joined for the wrong reasons. Like, yes, I joined because I wanted to make an extra 300 hours a month just to get off food stamps, but I wanted to prove them wrong, like, because it was just so much negative surrounding, like, everything was just negative around my life, so I joined, and I, 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 I'm telling you guys, like, I joined, and this business changed my whole life. Not only, you know, was I suffering from that, but, like, my sister is on, you know, she's a drug addict, and, you know, I have addiction surrounding everything, like, I joined this business, and I was around positive women and people uplifting and I was like I, I needed that so not only was I getting the extra income I needed I was getting the powerful um you know just just everybody that was uplifting and they were positive and it made me positive and the more positive I got the better my business became like the better it, it made me, better my checks got the higher I went up in the business and like the happier I got and then, you know, seeing my, you know, husband, like, wow, like, this is changing you. And my dad being like, calling me and telling me like how he's so proud of me that I didn't listen to him and join the business. And that's all because like, I started believing in myself and I started pouring into myself and I started surrounding myself with others in this business. You know, 
if you have friends and you have family members, if you've just joined, if you've been in for a while and maybe you're, you're not where you want to be at, and maybe, you know, you're sitting at distributor. So maybe you're sitting at Ruby or Diamond and you just feel like everybody around you is like, you know, that you would have been this month, you know, been here, been there. And you're letting all that negative, you know, it just surrounds you and you're letting it like soak up into your business. You know, good around people in this business that believe in the business that are positive because when you're around them and you're around positive energy, it's going to flow into you and it's going to pour into your business because the more negative that you take in, it just fills your business up with negative and you're never going to go higher because, you know, it, it's just, it's literally, sorry, I get so excited, but just surround yourself with positive people that want the same things in life. If you want this business to work, being around negative people that are sitting and hating life and grouching about this and, you know, talking about that and talking about crap and how, you know, they're never going to go anywhere and they're struggling. Like, don't do that. Surround yourself with people that want the same things. And that's what I did. Believing in yourself is so huge. You have to believe in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, you will see a huge shift in your business. And yes, like there's been times in this business that I haven't believed in myself. And guess what happened? I didn't sign any customers. I didn't sign any distributors. Who wants to sign with you? Or, you know, they want to believe that you can help them change their life if you are so negative. If you are so, yeah, well, I can help you and maybe you're faking it. They can tell, like, if you're not passionate and you don't have that positive energy and your mind is not right, you're not going to sign anyone. You're not going to go anywhere. Getting your mind right and believing in yourself and knowing that it's going to happen, it's just when, is going to change everything for you guys. And I have a lot of people on my team that, like, they think that this business isn't for them. It is for you. It's just, you're already thinking that when you put that out there, the universe is just, they're feeding that. Like that's the energy you're putting out. So that's what you're going to get back and simple. Like that's just what's going to happen. You got to speak it. This business is for me and I am going to go ambassador. It's just when, how am I going to get there? What am I going to do to get there? Being positive, speaking it. Affirmations like Andrew was saying is huge. I am going to do this. It's, it's, it's just when you just, you've got to be, you know, and this, I've wrote some things down. Um, they, they spoke so much amazing stuff already to you guys. And like, don't compare yourself to others. You can, like, I'm on a, a team that is everybody needs Tiffany Hurst. So I have Aaron Tweed, Alyssa Bilyeu. I have, um, Claire Flores. I have, I have, um, so many amazing leaders, Rachel Jones. I have like all these powerful women surrounding me and there for a minute when I would, I would, you know, compare myself to them. I started seeing my business go further and further down and guess what happened to theirs. They kept going further and further up. Your time is your time. Don't compare yourself to others because that's not your journey. Your journey is your journey. And you know, you just have to look forward. If you start looking sideways, everything starts to crumble. And then guess what happened? Now you're set so much further back. You've got to pick up all that time just to get back to where you were. So keep your eyes forward. Don't look left. Don't look right. Don't compare yourself to anybody because it's just going to do nothing but bring bad things into your business. So, you know, believe in yourself. Forgive yourself for anything you've already done in this business. Forgive it. Just forgive yourself. Know that, you know, even if it's something that's not in the business, you've got to be not like in this, you have got to believe in yourself, but you have to forgive anything that's happened. Like you just got to just, just forgive yourself. Look how bad I am. Like, this is like my anxiety, like really bad. You have to love yourself and you've got to let love in. You, you cannot be someone in this business that is not going to like the, if you're in this business you're in this business to help others right now if you are walking around like and you know got that stink face going on and you have that you know that face where it's like um what they call it the resting bitch face if you have that going on and you just you're not letting that love in you've got to be happy you've got to be willing to open up 
to others and you've got to be willing to let them open up to you because no one's going to want to join this business and <laughs> and not be able to relate to you and love you and you can't love them i have made so many friends in this business so many friends and i believe that this business is built so much stronger if you have a connection with others but you cannot connect with others if your mind is not right so you've got to have your mind right like I'll say it a million times just like they have, but it's so true. You've got to pour into yourself. Read the books that she said at the beginning, you guys. Every single day, instead of listening to music while you're in the shower, instead of, you know, listening into the car, put on, you know, some self-development. Pour it, even if sometimes like I'll put it on and I don't even like realize I'm listening to it or maybe my mind starts wandering. But later in the day, like something will hit me and I'll remember something that that, that like was said to me because your mind is listening to it. Like your mind is so powerful. You've got to feed it. You've got to feed it. Just like she said, like a millionaire reads multiple books a month, like multiple books. It's because they're feeding their bodies. They're feeding their, they're feeding it with powerful things because if you want to go up, You've got to continue to pour because it's it's stressful. This business is stressful. It can break you down. But as long as you continue to you know pour into yourself, you'll just get stronger and stronger. For when times get hard, you'll be strong enough to get through them and come out on top instead of coming out on the bottom. Um, uh, like I said, this like this is there's some of these quotes I just wanted to say real quick. The universe will match you, whatever on whatever vibration you're at. Put out and you can't fool the universe. Wait, wait, that's not right. Don't, don't write that down. Um, I don't know, that doesn't seem right at all. But anyways, um, okay, appreciate how special you are. Drown yourself in affirmations. Do things you love. Stop the self depreciating humor so stop and i have so many people on my team do this and they'll say um you know like oh i don't they just pour like they think it's funny to put like bad humor on themselves so like ripping themselves apart and like they, they, they think it's funny it's not because the more that you put that out in the universe the more that you really believe that you've got to say nothing but good things about yourself at all times and it's not funny it like you might think it is but over time the reason why you're doing that is because you truly believe it you're just trying to make fun, like something funny about it and it's you've got to stop doing that and stop putting self-harm on yourself but i'm just is i that was kind of what i had to say oh girl i'm feeding off i have notes because i'm gonna now go and tell what you said okay i know that was awesome your story like me and you have a a lot of similarities. We'll talk about that later, but I just love you and your story. So what I wrote off of her and I wanted to feed off of her is believing in yourself. Yes. So, um, you know, there's like, she said, like I didn't have family or friends that believed in me at the beginning. I didn't even go to my close friends or family. I had to believe in myself. I had to, I was the first one to have to do it. And you have to be the first one to have to do it. Like you can't say, Oh, I don't have family or friends that doesn't believe in me. That's okay. Believe in yourself until you get to the point they start believing in you. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, you have to, you have to. Um, go, I don't know if you guys have seen Pam Souter's post today. She just asked, what's holding you back? Go in there and read the comments, you guys. I want to read what I saved in my notes because the way people say what's holding them back and then the way Pam responds with how else to think about your business because, again, you know, we think negative all the time, but go and read her, Pam Souter's comments and then i've saved like three or four on my phone just because i do i say certain things about my business out loud without even thinking and we can't because it's seriously what we say think about and all that it, it brings about um another thing too is i can speak for i know there's a i think there's like four presidentials on here you know so many times even us early on in our business you know we would look at like oh like oh she's triple diamond or oh she's ambassador or black diamond they don't go through any hard times you guys know it's just, they have done, like Megan said, they have fed their heart and their soul with such positivity and they've read on so many scenarios and so many different books that they know how to overcome it or they just know how to not even give it an energy. If something negative comes my way, I, some of it, yeah, I dwell on, but most of it, I just know, just keep driving. Don't even look out your window and don't even look at it. 
just keep on driving. Um, so don't ever think that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, we have brand new distributors on here and we have people that have been in, you know, Colette five years, I think. So it doesn't matter how long somebody's been in or what rank they are, you know, we're all human beings. We all have mindset. It's a, it's a, like being a girl, I think we're all girls on here. How many times do you walk by a mirror and think, oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I'm so ugly. Or, oh, I'm this. We all do it. So change it. Walk past the mirror and be like, dang, I look good. Change your mindset, but like positive, positive, positive. So don't ever feel like just because somebody's a certain rank or anything like that, that they don't go through this because we do, we all do. Just we've, we've read so much. We've gone to certain things. We've changed our mindset to understand how to get through it faster. Um, another thing, yeah, is don't compare yourself. Um, one thing I want to touch base on is, and I think we've all done this across the board is when we sign it, somebody and we're so excited that they want to start this business with us and then they don't work or they're not running, they're not matching your energy. And I want, I, when she was saying something, it just clicked and I felt like I had to say this because that's what's held me back a lot. And I'm telling you a lot in my business is me turning around saying, are you coming? Are you coming? Cause they tell you they want this, but everyone's energies will be different. People will walk out of the gate. You guys, I didn't work my business for the first five months. My, if now to this day, if I signed my sponsor today, she'd be like, yeah, she's a dead. She's not going to do anything. Back then we had no idea what we were doing. It was, yeah. So anyways, don't ever get stuck in. And you guys, I've done it so many times in my business. I'm literally speaking from personal store or whatever. Don't get stuck on who's not doing something. When you focus on who's not working, who's not signing, who's not posting, who's not showing up, you're just attracting yourself to that instead of when you could be, you know, going the other way, focusing on new blood, new blood, who wants this, who's excited, who's going to run with me, who's going to match my energy. So I just really think we've all focused on people that aren't working or people who say they want it and they're not doing it. You know, keep running, keep your mind right, keep positive, keep looking forward, let those people catch up. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. And it's okay. And that really was hard for me in the beginning of my journey because I'm a lover and a yellow and I want everyone to do this and be successful and change their lives. And not everybody's going to take it and go. So just understand that it's okay. And don't let your mindset shift to that and shift to just focusing on that in your business. Does that make sense? So shift it to the positive, bringing in new blood. You guys, seriously, <clears throat> mindset is unreal. And I thought of a book, I'm gonna, I just typed it. Let me hit enter. It's The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, you guys. I read it at the beginning of this year. So there's another activity I want you to do tonight. And he, the, your subconscious mind is ridiculous. Like it, your mind is so powerful. So in the, this, in the sub, Power of Your Subconscious Mind, he gave you an activity. And he said, when you go to bed, so I want you all to do this when you go to bed. And when, when you're laying there and you're kind of awake, but you're going into that deep sleep, you know, the last thing that you have on your mind is what's going to cross us through your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind doesn't stop working. It's 24 seven. So what you go to bed with, if you're thinking about the stress of bills or thinking about, oh my gosh, I can't pay this or all the negativity, that's what your subconscious mind is, is in a sense working on inside your body. So when you go to bed tonight, you're laying there, you're kind of half asleep, half awake. This is when you got to do it because you want to fall asleep thinking this. Think of what you want. Your, your dream life, your dream car, your dream house, what it's going to look like, what it's going to smell like, what just all the different things you want, being debt free, what's it going to feel like, the, tr the like seriously create like your dream life and play it in your mind. And then when you go to bed, you're it's not going to happen. You're not going to wake up and it's going to happen. But you know, over time, one day you're going to look back and be like, oh my gosh, this is the life I dreamed of because you, you're getting your mindset and your subconscious mind to work into that favor instead of the negativity before you go to bed. So what you have in your mind before you go to bed is so huge. Whether it's negative, your body's going to attract that. Whether it's positive, your body's going to attract that. Sorry, I keep talking, but the strangest secret, whether you plant poison or like corn or like positivity or success, that's what's going to happen. It, it doesn't matter what you plant. That's what's going to come about. Okay. So now I'm going to go into, we're going to talk about action steps. Um, we're going to talk, we wanted to kind of put mindset in this together just because, you know, again, we get so caught up and every single one of us do it on the team and what they're not doing and who says they want this and blah, 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 and all this crazy stuff. But we want to talk about the action steps that you can control in your business. I can't, let's say you guys are all on my team. I can't control what you guys do. I can't control if Colette works her business today or if she posts like she said she's going to, or if she does her steps to success like she told me a hundred times she was going to do, right? 
I can't control that, but I can control what I do. You know, an independent distributor. I can control that. Pam Sutter talks about that on her post. So here's the quote when I was kind of coming up with the Zoom. It, I found this and I was like, we have to go off of this. So it says, instead of obsessing over the things you can't change, focus on what you can, your attitude, mindset, and energy. So instead of focusing on who's not working, blah, 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 all that stuff, focus on what you can do. So I'm going to kind of share things I do daily and then Megan and Colette will all share that as well. And so something, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard of a six list. Um, again, find what works for you. Um, a six list is just basically six tasks that you're going to do for your business every single day. So for example, you know, it's 30 minutes personal development. It's posting on social media to show your business is open. It's adding people to your network on Facebook, on Instagram, when you're out, out about blitzing, it's, um, following, okay, that's the same thing. Add into your network, um, messaging new people, following up with old leads. Um, it's doing income producing activities every single day for your business. And so that's what you can control. Again, you can't control what your team does or what anybody else does, but you can control what you do. And so, um, I was going to go into something else, but I think Colette will touch base on this. And one last thing I want to say, um, you know, just give yourself that little list. It doesn't have to be huge. Who is it? There's another leader years ago. I heard this and I think she still does it. She gets a post-it note. She puts three things she wants to do on it, puts it like next to her bed. So when she wakes up, those are the three things she has to do for the day. You guys, it doesn't have to be this long list. You don't have to be on your social media for eight hours a day working this like crazy that, you know, that's not why you signed up. And so create a list, three, six things, do it every single day. That will help you grow your business. Again, posting is not asking. So make sure you're, you're posting, but then also doing other things activities that you can control, like messaging new people, following up with old people, setting up a party, hosting your own online party, you know, whatever it is. One thing I want to say too, is I did this, I think it was about a year ago. I was down in the dumps. It was my crazy negative year in my head. My team probably didn't see it. Cause I don't share that to everybody else. It was just in my side, inside myself. And I finally said, okay, Andrea, I want you to act and I'm talking to myself. I want you to act like you are the only distributor on your team. Like you just signed up right? And I know we have brand new distributors on here who, who haven't built a team yet, but I was like, I'm going to act like I just signed up and it's just me. Not that I wasn't paying attention to my team. I was still there posting, giving them stuff, but I wanted my main focus on me and my business, my four customers, my three distributors, and then shift it to my team's focus. Does that make sense? So it's not me being, oh, I'm not there for my team. It's I wanted to make sure I got my stuff done before I went to my team and made sure they got their stuff done. So I want you to do that. Like Megan said, don't look at the past. Don't look at anything that's gone wrong in your business or the negativity or anything like that. You're starting forward from today on positivity, putting yourself in the position you want to be. And then, you know, giving yourself those goals and focusing on you. Don't focus on what everybody else is doing or what she's doing, or what he's not doing. Focus on what you can control and the action steps you can take daily into your business. And you guys, it changed because I was like, oh, Kate, I just got to focus on me. Like I got to get my four customers, three distributors, and then I can help everybody else. So try that. Don't know if that's a good tip, but it really, it is. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to somebody else. Cause I can keep talking. Okay. I'm going to pull Colette back on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Megan. You go? Yeah. You've got to lead from the front. So if you want your distributors to do something, or you want your team, or maybe you don't even have a team, you want to build a team, you've got to do the steps success. And then when you do it, then you can help your team or, you know, just, keep, you know, let them see it. You've got to lead from the front. And the more that you put into the business, it's going to come back and they're going to do the same thing. And they're going to see how, you know, wow, she's got another distributor. She's killing it. Like, and then they want to go out and do it. Lead from the front and everybody's going to follow. If they don't follow, oh, well, don't put your energy into people that don't want it. Don't be pulling them and pulling them. Just do it. Show them. And, you know, then you'll have, they can come with you. You know, we're not in this business. Yes, we're in this business to help our team. Absolutely. I'm always there for my team. If you're on here and you know that, like, I love you guys so much. But the thing is, is that we're, we've got to continue to bring in those people. Like, I'm, I, I'm, so grateful for this business. I want to share that with others. So, you know, bringing in that new people, like that new family out there, we've got to search for them. We've got to find them and help them. And if you're not doing that and you're just helping everyone that's already in the business at all times and not continuing to bring them in, you know, what are you doing? Like you've got to continue and search for them, bring them in 
and then you know just it just it's repetitive you just kind of keep doing it over and over and over again and leave from the front because if you're not doing it you can't expect your team to do that either you can keep going on your section then we'll poke it on <laughs> oh go ahead, go ahead are you done okay okay colette um, all right, so with my team, we usually do a monthly boom challenge that um, we start and say, okay, if for every loyal customer or distributor that you sign, you say boom, 200, 199, 198, and you go down. Um, and we share the successes of the new enrollments. Well, the last three months, the last three months of the year, October, November, December, are really important for your business because what you do these last three months most people are starting to kick in high gear for the holidays, so checks start to drop, generally. Um, we want to prevent that, so I wanted to create a boom challenge based off of activity, and that's what you can control. You Sometimes you are planting those seeds, and you're messaging and engaging, and you just can't seem to find a loyal customer. You can't seem to... Um, find that new team member and it gets discouraging and it gets frustrating. Well, I want you to realize that this is all on your, your team members, your future teams on their timeline. So we can't control when they sign up, but what we can control is our activity. So I was doing this boom challenge based on activity and encouraging every single distributor to have 15 booms for themselves for October. And they could count every Monday night the show me the money call as one of those booms. And there was five Monday night show me the money calls in the month of October. So they could get a third of their booms just from plugging into that show me the money call. And then I encouraged go live and do a wrap party, go live and do an opportunity event, or an opportunity meeting, um, wrap someone, meet someone for coffee and talk and talk about and talk about talk about it. Planning um, an event, uh, one team, one mission, anything like that. So that is what you guys can control is what your calendar looks like. So you can go and purchase a calendar like this, this blank. You can go to Hobby Lobby and they have blank calendars, you guys, in the in the um, scrapbook paper section for like 10 cents. You can go get blank calendars and this is a good indicator of how you're growing your business is how full your calendar is and i would encourage that you try to have one wrap party i would say once a week personally um, and if you're doing that live on facebook or if you're doing it in home or if you're going to someone else's home doing it as a team but i recommend you holding at least one wrap party once a week and then plugging into the show me the money calls. And if you can't listen to the show me the money calls on Monday nights that you listen to a recording. Um, and so when you have a full calendar, your business, those seeds that you're planting, the things that your activity is growing, and that is going to ensure more success. So the last three months of the year are critical. Like, look at that calendar. What do you have going on? And if your team doesn't have much going on and you don't have much going on, guess what? your doors are closed. They are closed. So we've got to make sure that we fill up that calendar. So we had, um, this was a suggestion from Katie. Um, they had Pam Souter offer some suggestions on how to hold yourself accountable. I love charts and graphs and filling things in. Maybe some of you don't. I know Megan doesn't. Um, so you can tune this out if this is not your jam, but it's mine. So what you could do is get out some great, um, grid paper and number it for the amount of days there are in the month, or maybe you want to put in the amount of days that are left in this month. That would be ideal. And so here's the days of the month. There's 30. And then here's your activity. And as you fill in the activity for the first day of the month, you're like filling in that grid that it's completed. And so what's important in your business? There's some things that need to be done every single day. But holding a party every single day does not need to be done. But if you have this grid for 30 days, I hope there's at least four or five squares filled in. If there's nothing filled in, you know that maybe you're lacking in the party department and we need to improve. Or maybe your grid showed nothing 
in personal development. You're lacking in that department, you need to improve. So a lot of these things, I'll just go super duper fast. It's a product post, business post, Instagram follow, Instagram unfollow, add 10 on Facebook, Facebook Live, message 10 on Facebook, message 10 on Instagram, LC follow, um, personal development, check um, declines, vendor event, um, connect with your top 10 leaders, parties, opportunity lives, and so on and so forth. So guys, like if, if you need a six list, the six things that you have to do every single day, sometimes we do what's safe. So find out what areas you need to improve upon and do the scary things first, because that might be the thing that you, you need to um, push your business a little over the edge. But I love knowing that the action steps are what I can control. And if I am truly holding myself accountable and being honest with my efforts, the rest of the stuff will come. So, so what she just, what said, she just said, the last three, the last three, is it, re, is it skipping? You're good now. Okay. So the last three months of the year, yes, like, you know, our checks are kind of going down or maybe you're at a standstill of your check and it's not going up or, you know, maybe you're just like, what's going on? Okay. So what you do now is literally how your check's going to look like in the future. So if you're planting seeds and you're building relationships and you are, you know, it seems like maybe you aren't doing anything and you're just liking and commenting and, you know, whatever it may be and friend requesting and, you know, all of that. But what you're doing now is going to be so important for the months to come. So just be patient and just know you are doing everything. If you know you're doing everything possible, then you know you're doing everything possible. But if you know like, well, I could do this better or maybe I could do a little bit more, you know, then do it. If you, if you work this business and this was your full-time job and you had, this was the only income you absolutely had, would you be fired? If we said, do the six licks every day, do this every day, if you weren't doing it, like, would you still have a job? Like if this, if you could be fired from this, like, would you be fired? So, you know, if you come, if you go to bed at night, think like, would my boss be happy with me? You know, cause you don't have a boss. Like the, you make your paychecks. You are, you're in control of your business. So just think of that. Like, would I, would I be happy with if I, you know, if I, would you be happy with someone on your team if they did what you did today? Would you want them to do what you did? You should be doing stuff that you want your team to be, like if they could watch you all day long and had a camera on you, you would want them to repeat it and do the exact same thing. So you've got to just know like what you're doing now is going to, it's going to pay off in you know, the months to come. Just got to really put in the time now and work really hard at doing your six list, you know, I say, I call it six list every single day, like really working hard at doing that and Instagram and Facebook and liking and commenting and unfollowing and vendor events and getting out there and getting your name out there and people to know who you are. Just I, in getting your mind right. <laughs> so we just want to instill everything in our minds in your minds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end with something and then we'll go to Colette to end edit. But I had some things that I didn't take notes and so I forgot, but I wanted to share you this. Can you guys see it normal? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what people think success is, right? Like, oh, I'm gonna join, good, going all the way to the top, no, no, like lows. This is what success is. This is why you gotta get your mindset right because there's going to be days and weeks and months that challenge you to the T, that challenge you that you just, you want to shut all the doors and all the curtains and be done. You just want to like throw your hands up in the air and nothing's going my way. Like that's why getting your mindset right is so, so key because when you go through those little downs or those valleys or those plateaus, your mindset's right that you keep moving forward. You keep moving forward. And so, um, something else I was going to share too. What was it? Oh, it may feel like our business is so simple. You guys, it's not always easy, but it's so simple that it may feel like you guys are, it's, we're going like this, like just running on a, in a circle, in a circle and it, because it's repetitive. It's so repetitive that it's every day. It's a six list every day. It's what, what can I do to grow my business every day? It's messaging, following up, posting. It's, it's repetitive that it might seem like, I don't want to say this. It might can seem boring, but 
and that's where, you know, you can't compare yourself to anybody else because there's a planning season and a, um, a harvest season, right? Planning and harvest. When, let's say I'm looking at Colette and she is just signing people left and right and customers and distributors. And I'm over here like, I can't even get a customer to sign. She could be in her harvest season where I'm in my planting season. So never, that's why we always say never compare yourself because they're in such a different place in their business. I'm in a different place than Megan is and then Colette is. So everyone could be signing things where you might be stagnant, but it could be your mindset. It could be your planning season. It could be, you're not believing that you can do it. Um, but planning season, you guys is so, so huge. I feel like that's where a lot of times our mindsets go crazy because we want to see progress. We want to see things in the system. We want to see customer signing, distributor signing. And when it's not necessarily happening the way we want it to, we think, Oh, it's not working. But really, if you guys go and watch on YouTube, the bamboo motivational video, you'll see it when you get to it. You guys, it, your, your roots are growing so strong and so deep. You just can't see it because it's below the surface, but all the seeds that you plant, that you keep watering up, that you keep doing your job. You can't just plant it and walk away. You keep watering them following up. Those seeds will harvest. Doesn't it? It might be in two months. It might be in five months. It might be in a year. You guys, I'm still sending people. I've been doing this for four and a half years that watch me for the full, full four and a half years. So just understand that somebody could be in their harvest season and you're in your planting season. Um, you know, I promoted my first year, I promoted to Emerald in November. So there's no months out of the picture that you can promote. You, I, I know people that have promoted in December. So get your mindset right. Believe that it can happen. Commit to it and tell yourself, I got this. I can do this. I know I can do it. I know I can control what I can do every single day. And what you might do every single day might not give you the results you want at the beginning, but it will your harvest will come and you will be like, Oh my gosh, all the work I did last month and the two months and the three months prior is all coming. Like I can, I can see it all right now. Um, I had so many other things that I could sit here and talk forever. You guys, <laughs> but mindset, just like Megan says, I, I wish I could just seriously all my four and a half years into your head right now because mindset is so powerful. So I'm going to leave you with one thing and we're going to shift it to Colette. We become what we think about. So what are your thoughts every single day? Are they negative or are they positive? The negative, you've got to shift them to positive because you are worth it. Your dreams are worth it. Your family is worth it. And you seriously can achieve anything and everything you put your mind to. Now it's Colette's turn. <laughs> I could go forever, you guys. I could seriously talk forever. Hey, guys. Um, one last question for you. And I do not want you to play small. I want you to think about it for a second and then throw out a number. How much money do you want to make in a year? And please don't play small. But like, seriously, how much money do you want to make in a year? Let me see some numbers. I'm going to pick one. Okay. Guys, first of all, you're playing small. Go higher. I'm serious. Higher. I, okay. <laughs> one million a year. Okay. Um, 500, I see 500, I see even 250. Okay, so let's do, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm serious about playing small because 10,000 a month is not 169,000. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with 500,000 for right now, okay? And let me tell you a funny story. So I was talking with Lori Conway, and I don't know if you guys know who Lori is, but she is one of the top income earners. She's been around for quite a while. And, um, okay, Catherine, she's like, that number popped in her head, 169,000. Well, you need to go for that number. Um, Lori Conway was talking about how much money we'd like to make per month. And I said, oh, I want to make 15,000. And she just laughed, and she's like, oh, my gosh, you're so cute. You need to plan a little higher than that. You need to go a lot higher than that because they're letting us know it's possible. It is possible. And whether you guys are religious or not, God wants you in abundance. The universe wants you in abundance. So don't be saying that small because that's what you're comfortable with. Okay. So let's, I'm going to do a really fast activity. Okay. So 500,000 a year, I'm going to divide that by 12 months. And that's 41,000 a month. Sounds pretty good. Okay. And at 41,000 a month, 
Um, I want to work only five days a week on my business. I want the weekends off or maybe I want a day off here or there or whatever. So I'm going to work five days a week and that's 20 days a month. Okay. So I'm going to divide that by 20, which is $2,083 a day. How many hours a day do I want to work? Maybe three, but $2,000 a day. Was your efforts today worth $2,000 a day? Yikes. Was it worth 500? I mean, if you got paid $500 today for what you did, ka-ching, right? But $2,000 a day is 40,000 a month. And that is, that was almost kind of considered cute by the ambassadors and black diamonds in our company because it's possible for each and every one of you. So what I'm going to share really fast, I'm gonna end this, but when I spoke to Pam, when I spoke to Pam Souter once, um, I said, Pam, I don't know what my problem is. I want ambassador, I'm messaging, I'm posting, I'm holding parties, I'm doing one team, one missions. I, like, I want it so bad, I just don't know what's going on. And she was like, I do, you don't believe it yet. There is a feeling within you when you decide, I am Ruby. I am diamond. You get goosebumps. You get hair standing on top of your head. You feel it. And like, I'm about right. Woo. Okay. I get fired up because you believe it. So you need to start believing it right now that you deserve so much more than where you are at right now. This business will take you as far as your personal development is. So think about that. If you have not done much personal development or you haven't invested in you, this business is only going to take you as far as your personal development is. Push farther, harder, and invest in yourself because that, if you're getting $2,000 a day for your efforts, you better be plugging into a show me the money call or listening to personal development because that's what's going to get you there. So stop letting every single day pass because you're wasting money. You just threw $2,000 away. No, $2,000, yeah, for a day. You just threw it away. So make it happen. Find time to listen to personal development for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You can make time because it's important. And if you're not making time, then you're making excuses and it isn't important to you. So you say, I need this and I want this, but what are you doing right now to change it? Are you ready to change it and stop playing small? Stop being sick and tired of sick and tired. You're here for a reason. So today is the day to stop it all and to say, I'm ready. I'm putting all the excuses in the past. I'm forgiving myself. I'm moving forward. I'm doing this. And it is not going to be life-changing until you treat it like it can be life-changing. The end. Love it. I know. Mic job. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Love it. Well, thank you all for jumping on. Believe in yourself. Do your thank yous. Make your dream life when you go to bed. Believe, believe, believe. You are a badass. You can do this, you guys. You guys, we are speaking from personal experience. We wanted nothing. Okay, like $500 a month. It's huge. And look where we are. You guys, believe in yourself. Believe, believe, believe. You, 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 you. can all achieve anything and everything you put your mind to. We love you all. We want to see you at the top of the company. And have a good night. See you guys. Bye.